Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Boyd's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fight. The professional so at work this, right yeah. now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. His adversary, the Will of Brooklyn, the professional. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch. Well, he pulls you back a little bit off the jab, and then he fools you a little bit. You know, he's a little bit of a magician, a little sleight of hand. Then he makes you feel like he's going to push you back again, and he'll step back and he'll counter you. But that jab is what makes it all happen. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counterpunching. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Boy, he's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Excellent one-two by the professional. The professional's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. And we come to the end of round number one. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Yep. Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of they have superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching.
both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Boyd's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. What a mess this is right now. There's blood absolutely everywhere. He's got to worry about so many fronts, including the ref or Doc stopping the fight. Yeah, but you know, that's the funny thing for a fighter, for a professional, Joe. I would argue with you. He's not supposed to worry about no. all those things. No. Now's really the time that he must not worry about any of those things. A nice block by Boyd. Boyd's mouth is cut. You can see it's getting worse as things progress here. That could be a factor later on. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And that's the end of round two. Boyd's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. a forceful two-punch combo by Boyd. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Solid right by the professional. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. And now he scores well with a straight right. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. This is becoming like a crime scene here. The professional's DNA is splattered throughout that ring. And you know it's going to influence the fight, not only where maybe he gets a little discouraged, he gets a little down, but maybe his opponent, and there's a big maybe, maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Now that's what we worked on at the gym. Good shot. Boy. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The professional showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. The left hand coming into play by Boyd. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the round comes to an end. He's winning the fight. He's winning. Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy scorecard has him up three rounds to zip. a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back little head knocking with that right hand able to land another power shot early on here teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Double jab by the professional. <laughs> Able to land the hook to the head. Punch. Halfway through Punch. this round here, Boyd's effort has been admirable. But I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Boyd's landed a good, solid combination. Hit 
gets to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Boyd's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Boyd. The professional's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Right to the head with that right. Boyd's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Goes up top with the right hand. Halfway into round number five here. He's tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now's your chance. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Body shot lands, it was the right. You had to see it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody a believer in the final 60 seconds. And this is why you understand the dimension of this sport like no other sport. At the end of this, how both participants will have mutual, great respect for each other. Boyd's defense is paying off now. Good right hand by Boyd. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Solid straight right hand. And that's the end of round five. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eye shuts closed like that, everything changes. The one thing doesn't change, though, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in. You find a way. You concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. The professionals in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good job on the two-punch combo by Boyd. Boyd's nose is bloodied up. Who knows how that started right there, but the bottom line is he's got to deal with it. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. A little head hunting with the right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Pace yourself. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good combination punching by the professional. Boyd's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do. What you have